What's up fam? Welcome again to Orkisa Garage. Today I'm going to um, replace the inverter uh, cooling water pump or the hybrid um, water pump for uh, 2007 or Gen 2 Prius. Uh, I already get the parts from Toyota. This one right here. Uh, I'm going to put the parts number on the the, on the description later and also the coolant they have to be the pink one the cup you have to be pink because there's red and pink so this one it takes the pink one and this one is 50 50 right here you don't have to add water or anything just pour it pour it in to uh, hybrid uh, coolant reservoir and the Codes are P zero A nine three. I think that's the that's the code. Let me double check. I get I got the paper. So these are the codes P zero A nine three. I think reference code is three four six. So inverter cooling system malfunction water pump system, and I think the reference the other one they're all the same codes but the reference are 347 this one is the cooling fan it may be like the cooling fan is not working from here these are the description areas and this one I got the first one the inverter water pump okay let me set up and then I'll show it to you how it how it's uh done it's easy all right guys let's go all right guys so first take up this one take up the bolts over here then there's another two over here and then clips clips on this side so swing the bumper take up the headlights and then the inverter water pump is right here right underneath the uh, headlights yes i have a lot of uh uh vinyl clips that is missing so first take up that one the next stop next up is take up this one two three four just in case you have more space and then take off the three bolts from the headlights show it to you okay so i take this it's the hood bump right here it's a screw Phillips screw right here and here so and then clips two clips so now i'm on the bottom to take up the the bolts that are holding this and then two bolts underneath so first take this panel plastic panel liner first one Okay, so everything is is off. Take it off the head headlights. One, two, and then the third one is down here. That one right here. Guys, okay, so first one, they are ten. Second one. I hope you guys can see it. It's right here, underneath. On this side, it's right here. This one. Okay. So now I'm ready to take up the, the headlights. Okay. First, I have to take up all the connectors. Take it off. And then a simple right here. 
So it's only two. I hope you guys can see it. It's right here. Uh, this one right here. So two hoses and one connector. So now I'm gonna take off the connectors just to make sure the car is off. I'm gonna spray that with the 40. Okay, so the connectors are getting brittle. So what I did, uh, pried from the back, this part right here. So I pried it, pried it up because I don't want to break this one. And it's easy. I think there are three bolts right here. The whole assembly. Oh, it's like three bolts and one nut. First, I'm going to take up the hoses and then get the drain pan. Okay, so the first one, I already get the connectors. And then the second one, just, you know, move it. Sorry, hopefully my camera. So I got all the uh, clamps, two clamps, and then break the hoses. And then I got my cooling, my drain pan underneath. Got it right here. So break it in. And then also break the upstairs. That's not working. Once that is break, you can get it. Okay, now they're off. One nut, three bolts, and then there's the bracket underneath I think that's holding this one okay I hope you guys can see it. Is it the the glare? Anyways, that's ten. Here, right there. It's too short. It's three bolts holding this. Okay, two, one, two, three, that piece right here, okay, and then there's a bracket right here, the holding two, if you want to get the bracket, but, and then it's a long bolt, okay, and then let's compare the, oh, and then let's compare the other one from the original let's see. so here's the part number I'm going to put that on the description too just in case so this one comes with the whole bracket system this one right here so so I'm gonna take up the bracket too I'm going to replace this one so it's more easier instead of taking up these three bolts just take this two okay and then so right now it's on the bracket right now um, the bracket still on the car I'm gonna take it off just plug and play with this one and then put everything back drain the old coolant and then uh, bleed the system 
the bracket itself there's like 12 right here 112 here and then the nut right here also 12 and being able to get this there's the bracket underneath there's 10 underneath for this bracket there's 10 millimeter now I'll take it off everything's fine install the other one I don't want to spray too much water because I don't want electrical problem okay, guys I'm ready to install the new one I got that right here and then put the bracket underneath that one and then put the nut it's 12 and then put the bolts line up it's it's the long one right there just broke it down here oh so small thing this one right here that one so I'm gonna lose this one first so I can move I hope you guys can see it I got my midget stubby wrench. Okay, this one right here, if you guys can see it, it's, the, it's on the glare but it's over here, it's right here, that's the tent down there, over here, and then, tight this one, and then I'm good, clean the connectors, spray some, down, spray some brake cleaner first, and then install hoses okay and then there's the other one I'm going to drain the old coolant don't worry guys I'll show that to you where the drain plug is okay so the original the clamps is facing facing inward also this one facing inward so what I did put the clamps on this side this side too so in the future it's easy to to get access to that one and then I clean the connectors clean it and then it should be fine and connect the connectors here I hear it everything's good and then put everything back so don't you know on this they charge so much on the shop because they had to diagnose and then you know for this one it's easy because you have to take up just this this just the headlights and then you have more access from here okay now I'm gonna put everything back I guess I'm installing everything back
race on WD-40. Forget this. Reflex. Don't forget to put the plastic here, I'm not going to put it yet. The hybrid system, this is the drain plug. And then, if you want to uh, drain it fast, I think they're 24 millimeter. I guess they already also opened the, the reservoir. Okay, drain the whole thing usually there's a maintenance on this there are around like 50 or 60,000 miles to flush the coolant
Okay, I think that's it. It's not that much. Wow. Okay. And then I'm gonna show it to you how it bleed out first. Sorry. Tight the rain plug. Okay, that's good. Let's go upstairs. I guess I'm pulling the coolant and then clear the codes and bleed the system. Oh, okay, it's full because I have to uh, put in the flat street just to make sure I'm gonna clear the codes and bleed out. Get all my tools first. Going to uh, the, um, read the codes here I got that one going to erase Okay, no more remaining. Turn off. Just to make sure the cooling is working. I'm gonna put it in straight. Okay, so everything are going down. And then going to uh, build up more. your bleeder screw right here to bleed the system you have to get the clear hose and then turn on the car no don't uh, start it just on the accessories mode so so the auxiliary water pump or like the, the electronic water pump or the hybrid will pump the fluids and then circulate I'm gonna open the turn on the car on the accessories Okay, just like that and then open the bleeder valve you hear right now it's, it's just like that because there's no uh, coolant here it's still pumping and you see it it's not enough I'm going to get more of the coolant It's gonna take a while. I hear it. it. Takes a while for the coolant to pump in.
So right now it went down. I'm gonna add more. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting the parts. Yeah. yeah, I'm getting the parts. The door, I'm looking for the door. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yes. how they pump I had the short hose so I'll try to reach it See that spider ring? Still bubbles in the system. Get the longer one. It's messy right now. So um, it's, it's messy because I don't have the no longer clear hose. So right now it's clear so far so good. And then you don't hear anything yet. Yeah, I mean sorry, you don't hear any noise now because all the fluids are circulated. So I'm gonna wait. I think that should be good. You see it? So it's not sputtering right now. Everything is clear. So I'm just gonna add some coolant, test drive, and it should be good. And the next thing is the uh, uh, going to smog.
Alright guys, this is how you uh, bleed the, the coolant. There's a bleeder valve right here. So size is 10 millimeter. So I, I advise if you guys doing this, get the long clear hose. So it's not messy like it did. Because so I have a small one. So next time I have to uh, save or get the clear hose. The longer one. And also if you check the water are moving now, that means your electric water pump is good and everything is circulated so now I'm just gonna add some coolant and it should be good it's all easy part just take up the, the headlights on the driver's side take it off the bumper take it off the side so you can pull it and it's just right here underneath the headlights so now it's all messy I'm just gonna clean it Alright guys, this is just uh, put everything back and clean all the mess if you make it. So me, for me, I just spray some water here because I messed up. I uh, spilled a lot of coolant. Okay, so it's easy. That's how it is. Alright guys, thank you again for watching my video and you know supporting my channel. I'll see you guys. I see you guys again next time. Alright okay, guys, so that's how you do it. Uh, it's easy. Mostly you need is uh, for the clips for the funnel, uh, 10 millimeter, uh, and then 12. And mostly that's it. And then I'll put all the information for the parts and coolant on the description later. Alright guys, thank you for watching uh, my video and supporting my channel. Thank you guys. I'll see you soon again. Thank you, thank you, thank you.